Welcome to this short tutorial on how to get started using machine to write music in the studio. It's designed for those of you that have just bought yourself a machine and are unsure as to how to get started. So during this short module, we're going to take a look at the interface generally, and then we're going to load up some sounds, some groups, program in some drum beats and bass lines, and just do a rough bit of arranging. So first things first, let's just talk about uh, the different project levels within machine. So for this, I'm going to be doing everything using the machine hardware controller, but just be aware that the software interface is really intuitive. You can just use the mouse uh, to do pretty much all the things that I'm going to be showing you how to do. But obviously machine is designed uh, to get you working with a piece of hardware, making the whole music writing process a bit more tactile, and a bit more intuitive than just using the mouse. So the main crux of the hardware device is this uh, set of 16 velocity sensitive pads here. So these are called sound slots and a sound slot can hold uh, either a single sample, uh, it could be a chopped up loop or it could be a full instrument. So 16 sound slots per group and over here if you take a look you can see there's eight different groups. So eight times 16 sounds, there's a whole wealth of slots there into which you can load, as I say, anything pretty much that you can imagine. So for each uh, individual group, you can program up to 64 different patterns. If I hold the pattern, uh, pattern button, you can see in the right hand LCD display, the numbers one to 16 representing uh, pattern numbers. And we can switch between banks of patterns using these buttons here. So to get from 17 to 32, you press that button and so on and so forth. So 64 patterns per group. And then these patterns are organized into scenes. And again, you can have up to 64 different, uh, different scenes. No scenes programmed at the moment. Obviously, we've started out with a new, new project. What I'm actually going to do is Use browse mode to load up one of the preset uh, machine projects that ships with the software. So first things first, I'm going to press the browse button. And I'm going to press button number one, master. And then using rotaries one, two, three and four here. I'm going to use rotary number one to select. Project. I'm going to use rotary number two. You can either select uh, one of the projects that you've already made, or you can select what are called NI projects, Native Instruments project. These one, these are the ones that ship with the software. Under the type column, rotary number three, you can choose your style of music. So for argument's sake, I'm just going to go for downbeat. Uh, and then sometimes you can use rotary number four to select uh, a subtype. Usually when you're selecting samples, sounds or instruments, in this case, there's no subtype. If you look over to the right hand LCD display now, you can see all the available preset projects that fall under the downbeat type. And I'm using rotary number five to scroll through those. And if you look over to the software, you can see how that correlates. You've got the browser over there on the uh, left hand side. You can see the route that I've taken, NI projects, native instrument projects, downbeat, and then I'm just using rotary number five to scroll through those. So for argument's sake, let's go for this one called Night Sky. I'm just going to press button number eight over here, which is load. So this is going to load a whole load of ideas for us to have a quick play around with to get to grips with how to navigate your around, uh, way around a machine project. You could just double click on where it says Night Sky on the interface using the mouse as well. You see, it just takes a moment to load. So you can see that there are musical ideas on five of the available groups and you can tell that uh, the groups have been used because, uh, well, the currently selected group is lit up quite strongly in blue. If you've got stuff happening on a group, but it's not selected, it's sort of uh, a little bit duller. And then if you've got nothing on the go, as there isn't in group F, G or H, then you see the button isn't illuminated at all. So let's pick, uh, have a look, let's go for group B. That's the drum kit 
in this uh, project. So group B, you can just trigger the sound that's been loaded into that sound slot just by hitting the pad. You notice that the pads are velocity sensitive, so the harder I hit the pad, the louder the sound is that you're going to hear back. So in this case, like I say, group B, 16 sound slots, onto each of the different sound slots is loaded a different, different drum sound. Now don't worry, like I say, it's just a bit of an overview of the interface. We're going to go into exactly what we're, we're looking at a little bit later on in this module. But in this case, on group C, you can see only one of the sound slots is being used, sound slot number one. In this case, it's got an instrument loaded onto it, or what's called a, a machine sound. Now if I just uh, trigger sound slot number one, you can hear it's only given me one pitch of note, but what I can actually do is zoom in on that sound slot. So I'm now sort of inside that sound slot, and I can use the 16 pads to trigger different pitches of note. So you can see there's been a rough bit of arranging doing. If you look up to the, the top of uh, the software interface, you can see there's been 16 scenes that have been programmed. So to start this uh, playing from the beginning, you can just hit the restart button here. Let's have a listen to see how this arrangement pans out. This indicates whereabouts we are in the scene. And this thing here indicates the pattern that has been selected for that particular scene from which group. Here are your groups here. So at the moment this has been programmed to play the music from start to finish and if you load up any of the Native Instruments projects that we program so all you have to do is hit play and listen back to the arrangement but what we can do I hold this button at the top here that says scene it shows me six scenes which correlates with the six scenes that we've got on the interface and we can switch between these scenes just by pressing the button you can see I've jumped back to scene one there Moving over to scene six. That's a great live performance tool. You've written a song, but then you've got the option of skipping to different scenes within that song. Let me go over to group B, which is our drums. This time instead of holding scene, I'm selecting pattern. You can see four buttons illuminated. There's been four patterns written for the drums. And if I wanted to, I could just select a different pattern. And it will play in scene one. You can see how when I choose a different pattern, you see how this number here is changing to illustrate that. So we know how to load a full Native Instruments project, skip between scenes, and now change patterns for a particular scene. And we know how to select different banks of sounds, samples or instruments using the group buttons here. We know how to trigger those sounds. You just simply touch the relevant pad with the relevant group selected. So let's now start to build our own machine project from scratch.